Hello everyone, this is Killing. Welcome to Killing's channel. This video presents 10 reasons to study intercultural communication at the University of Sheffield. Um, it's really hard for me to pick only 10 reasons out of such a huge bond of them. But obviously, we don't have that much time, so I better cut it off now and get to the point. I remember at the beginning, my British friends asked me how I decided to study at the University of Sheffield. Well, before I applied for uni, I did some research. It shows that our uni is one of the original rat break universities, as well as a member of the Russell Group of Research Intensive Universities, with hundreds of years history. I should as well mention that according to QS World University Rankings, the University of Sheffield ranks the 75th worldwide and the 13th in the UK. I can't see why I wouldn't choose the University of Sheffield. It's so convenient for the students in Sheffield to get to anywhere in this country. Look at this map, Sheffield is right in the middle. You can reach to Manchester Airport within an hour. If you want to explore around big cities like London, it'll only be two hours something, not mentioning other cities. Alright, and it's only 15 minutes walk from uni to the train station. Pretty approachable, right? Studying abroad, all that matters first is safety. I've checked on the crime rate in Sheffield before. It's way lower than average, compared to other similar scaled cities. For hard-working girls, our uni also provides girls' bus that can drive me home safely at night if I had to stay up late at libraries. Wait! Did I mention the University of Sheffield is actually a city-like university instead of a campus university? There's no obvious boundary for the campus. It's totally merged into the Sheffield city. So, basically, you can choose your dormitory wherever near your school. No need to worry about your safety while heading to lectures or going home. If you're really tired of noisy metropolitan, Sheffield is definitely a place for you to study peacefully. Almost half of Sheffield is hidden inside the Peak District National Park. Mountains, rivers, valleys, all those picturesque sceneries is just a stone's throw from you. During weekends or holidays, I would go for a walk in the Peak District, view the bonds connecting me and the nature, to further discover who and where we are. I really enjoy riding on a bus, immersing myself in the beautiful sceneries along the road in some rare sunny days. According to the National Student Survey carried out by Times High Education in 2011, our uni possesses the best libraries in the UK, tied for the first place together with Oxford. Although I love the shiny look of the diamond and the multifunction of information commons, I have to say my favourite one is Western Bank Library. Not just for the less crowding here, nor the silent and comfortable study atmosphere, but also the scenery where you can obtain easily just by taking a peek at the Western Park through the huge French windows. If you want to have some rests, you can even immerse yourself in that scenery simply by taking several steps next door to bathe in the sunshine or feed the little animals. If you are new in town, restless international student, especially for Chinese students, an important way for you to seek for a small consolation of your hometown is food. When tired of cooking, I always eat outside, but there's plenty of restaurants and cafes in this city. Sheffield is a multicultural city, and this characteristic is perfectly reflected in food that you may find British food, Chinese, Italian, Spanish, Japanese, you name it. As a student that have had enough lectures with loads of peers in the same classroom that couldn't gain enough interactions, I think you'll probably feel the same about the class size as me. 
Compared to other majors that have over a hundred students, the small classes teaching mode of intercultural communication enhances my learning experience without doubt. I get fully interacted with my classmates and professors during classes. Also, if there are some questions, you can always book a slot with a professor for one-on-one -on -one consultation. Rather easy and efficient. We always say you can memorize things better if you practice it right after you've learned it. And don't worry to find a suitable circumstance to practice under. It's already here. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. It's our right. Come join us. I mean, we're actually doing intercultural communication every day in our lives here. What we've learned in class, I can immediately apply them in my daily life. For there are students from different cultures in Sheffield, and you'll get chances to socialize and communicate with them, no doubt. It's the superiority of our major. I've never thought of it before that there's actually a position named intercultural trainer. It's pretty popular within the UK or Europe. As an intercultural communication trainer, you are supposed to design courses or leaflets on intercultural communication issues in order to help your clients adapt to a new culture, which might be an enterprise culture, city culture or country culture. With frequent communications nowadays happen, either in the scale of business or arts, intercultural communication experts are also in need in China. I just want to fulfill my potential in understanding different people and cultures. I seek to be more open-minded and inclusive. All in all, if you have the same targets as mine and you would like to work in an international and multicultural environment as well as cultivating your advanced intercultural communication ability and multilingual communicating capability, then this is the right course and this is the right place. I'm so happy and honored to study intercultural communication at the University of Sheffield.